Hey, what is going on guys? So you have a iPhone 8 or 8 Plus. I'm gonna show you how to do a forced restart. When you do a forced restart, you're not gonna lose any files or photos or videos. Doing a forced restart basically is like if you have a computer and it's on and you press and hold the power button until the computer turns off, okay? Now, why you would wanna do a forced restart? Well, perhaps your phone is unresponsive or it's frozen, even if it's like laggy, or most of you guys are probably here because you have like a black screen of death here, and you know your phone is on, but you can't uh, reboot it. You're touching all the buttons here, and you're not be you're not able to shut it down. So with a forced restart on the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus here, different iPhone models is a different key combination. With the iPhone, iPhone 8 here, it's gonna be the volume up, tap the volume up, volume down, and then you wanna press and hold the power button until you see the Apple logo. So follow along here, okay? Let's pretend that this screen has a black screen of death, okay? So here we go. Volume up, volume down, press and hold the power button. Don't let go of the power button. Just keep holding on to it. Just pretend my screen is black here. And we wanna keep holding on to the power button until we see the Apple logo. Once the Apple logo appears, we can go ahead and let go. I'm still holding on to it. I didn't see no, okay. I see the Apple logo. Now I'm gonna go ahead and let go. Now, the thing is, if you're still having issues, maybe you have a black screen of death still, or still acting laggy or funny, or it keeps frozen, another thing that you can do too is try this step five or six more times. Volume up, volume down, press and hold the power button. Now, if you're still having issues, another thing that you can do that's worked for me in the past is now go ahead and grab your iPhone charging cable, plug it in, set it down, and wait for 10 minutes, then come back, while the phone is plugged in, go ahead and do the same forced restart again. And you may have to try that five or six more times. Anyways, I hope this video helped you out. If you guys have any questions in regards to iPhones, any questions, just comment below. I'll help you guys out. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next one. Bye.